guys welcome back to my channel so it's the last week of January and it's Monday so that tells me that I need to already start planning for all of my month of February and what I like to do is I like to map out my whole month so that it streamlines my planning process each week so I thought I would take you along and show you how I lay out my whole month's worth of planning for February. So the first thing I like to do is to look at my pacing calendar to see what do I need to do throughout the month. And this is our district pacing calendar that we have to follow. So it maps out the units of curriculum and what the district expects me to do so that I know where to start with my planning process. So once I know what units we're doing, then I also pull out, obviously, my curriculum books that I need to use. So I'll grab my curriculum books. And then I also like to bring along my desired results, which is our assessment tool, so I can see what we still need to do. And when I'm doing my my um, desired results checklist, I, the, I check in to see what do I still need to do? What did I not touch basis on in January? And that way I know by my check marks here of what I still need to make sure that I fit in for February. So it's just kind of a nice glance for me to see what do I still have left that I have to make sure that I capture in February before I start moving on with my new sheet for February. Okay, so now that I have all of my things out and I have my, I know what the district wants me to do and I know the theme that the district is saying that we're working on right now is community helper, I can now kind of plan out my monthly themes for the weeks. So for me, I like to throw in our holidays because it's fun for kids, they enjoy it, it's a great way to review letters that maybe we've already introduced in a way that they'll remember. So if we've already introduced H and we're doing hearts because it's Valentine's Day, then that's something that I can just naturally put into my lesson plans because I know that it's a nice review for the kids even though we're introducing a new letter that's the district implemented curriculum. So now what I like to do is I like to come over and I'm gonna to go to my sticker page for February and I'm gonna pick up my uh, no school days because I know we have two days that we are not having school for February. So I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna paste those in. That way I can put them on the days. Let's see, I think we're closed on the 12th, which is a Friday, yep. So no school for us on Friday. Then I'm gonna copy this again by touching on it. And I'm gonna copy and I'm gonna paste it again. And I'm gonna put it on the next, mon on the Monday that we're off as well. So that way, okay, I have my dates that I know we have no school. Now what I'm going to do is like I know Groundhog Day is on the second and I know in the past that I've had some pretty fun activities that have gone along with the Groundhog Day. So I probably will touch bases on the Groundhog and shadows and stuff because it's going to be stuff that they might be seeing on the news and things that their parents might be talking about. So there again, I'm going to go back to my stickers um, and I get my stickers because I belong to a pre-K uh, pre-k teachers toolkit and I get the stickers from within that membership and a lot of activities that I will use will come from that as well because we are distance learning and sometimes whoop, sometimes um, you just need that extra little help of getting them motivated for distance learning so I know I'm going to do groundhogs we know Valentine's Day falls on the 14th but we still have these four days that we can talk about hearts, make hearts, um, get out heart candies that the parents probably have at home for distance learning and all of that fun stuff. So I'm going to be doing like maybe a love bug heart kind of everything in one kind of activity. So I'm going to copy that and I'm going to bring that over to my calendar as well so that it's a quick glance that I know when I'm kind of doing these things. 
and then I want to make sure that I do that I do get in the districts theme that they're saying we have to do which is um, obviously our community helpers so I need to make sure that I'm doing community helpers as well so I'll go back to my community helper and I'll copy that copy and then I'm going to paste that over to my calendar so therefore I know everything that I'm basically doing now now I can really start thinking about how am I going to set up my plans I know right here I have my letters already mapped out for me that I have to do for the district I know I know what math I need to do based on my curriculum as well that I need to start putting into my plans, my weekly plans. So now I have everything mapped out for February. Now I know I can look for some groundhog books. I can look for some of my Valentine books that can go along with these weeks. And then I'm gonna go into community helpers. And then as I go through my curriculum book, I know what math lessons and stuff that I need to look for. Uh, it shows we're doing patterns and those kind of things that now when I go to my weekly format, I can start plucking in the stuff that I need. So now what I'll do is I'll go over to my membership site, which is the Pre-K Teacher's Toolkit membership site, and I'm going to be drawing from some of the stuff that I can that's already done for me for distance learning that I can just hurry and pluck into my lesson plans to make my planning life so much easier. So if I come over here to more and I go into my monthly plan, I can see everything that the toolbox has for me to use. See, I have Groundhog Day, which is stuff that I want to do with my kids because they're going to be talking about it. Um, I have love bug stuff, whether it's printables that I want to use with the kids and send out for homework or activities that they can do at home, or if I just want to stick with distance learning things that I can do on my Google Meets, which is really handy because keeping the, that engagement with the kids is really important. And then I have my community helper. So I can now draw from everything in here to put into my lesson plan, my weekly spread lesson plans, and still be following the curriculum for the district as well. So let me turn the camera around and next week I'll show you what my weekly spread looks like. So I hope you found that helpful. Um, next video I'll show you and walk you through kind of my planning process and what I'll be doing for each of my Google Meets since I'm still doing distance learning and how I'm going to be supplementing with take home baggies for my kids to be able to use through the month of February. Until next time guys, thank you for joining me. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel so that you can get weekly updated lessons that I can help you plan your life as well.